Hello, everybody. Thank you for being here again at this fantastic WCN Conservation Expo. We gather here today to talk about this wonderful species, the Andean cat. This unique and mysterious wildcat lives in the high Andes and in northern Patagonia. These landscapes have in common the extreme weather conditions, the aridity, and how vast they are. These are quite challenging landscapes for such a small, beautiful wildcat that is just a little bit bigger than a house cat. But this tough species has learned and has very specific adaptations to thrive in this landscape. The main conservation threats for the Andean cat are extractive industries that creates habitat loss, degrada degradation and pollution, and also hunting for several reasons. In the Andean Cat Alliance, our mission is to work to diminish these threats for the conservation of the species through science, community participation, um, support in the management of protected areas, and uh, developing conservation strategies. But over the years, we have developed several programs that to address these threats with a global scope but customized to each community. But of course, as everything else, the pandemic has put them upside down. The pandemic changed our lives like nothing ever did before, and it limited our activities. How are we supposed to reach these communities that are usually even forgotten by our own governments? But not in vain, we have been studying for over 20 years a species that is so hard to see. We have learned a trick or two about adapt and overcoming difficulties. But for this, at first, we needed to be stronger. So during the first couple of months of the pandemic, we worked really hard in developing our own strengths. Please let the team provide some examples. Gracias al apoyo de ustedes, la Alianza Gato Nino ha podido adquirir dos vehículos, uno en Bolivia y otro en Argentina. Estos vehículos permitirán a nosotros poder llegar a sitios que antes estaban inaccesibles, sitios en los cuales el impacto de la conservación de nuestro querido gato andino será mucho más eficiente. Nuestro programa trata de entender cuál es la destrucción del gato andino y también conocer sus tendencias poblacionales. Todo esto lo hacemos con ayuda de las cámaras trampa, las que aparte también nos dan información sobre el conflicto con el puma y nos ayudan a acercarnos a las comunidades mediante programas de ciencia ciudadana. The In the Field 24-7 program purchased new camera traps to start an ambitious effort to sample all four countries. We expect this to finally allow us to understand the distribution and genetic structure of this elusive low diversity species. This in turn will translate in more effective conservation recommendations and actions. Camera traps also provide support to identify other conservation threats. For instance, we know that an important origin of Andean cat deaths are attacks by domestic dogs that are usually abandoned or not properly maintained by their owners. After being approached by a community with this very specific concern and realizing through camera trapping that this is a widespread problem that it has been increasing in all Latin America, we are now developing a new program that is based on a One Health approach. With this program, we expect to find ways sensible and respectful to increase responsible ownership in the communities. Hi, I'm Flor, I'm from Argentina, and right now I'm in a hotel room in London in quarantine because just in a few days I'm going to start a master's in conservation leadership. With the help of the Sydney Virus Scholarship, I'm going to enhance my skills in the designing of innovative solutions for the major conservation challenges that the Andean God faces today. But growing stronger is not just about us. It's not just about buying equipment and capacity building our own people. We were able to do this because we are connected. And 
But, you know, connection became something very, very important during the pandemic. But it means something different to us all, doesn't it? En los últimos tiempos, una palabra muy usada es la palabra conexión. Pero, ¿qué significa conexión? ¿Es estar conectados como seres humanos? El programa CatCraft ahora nos va a enseñar también a utilizar la fibra de la diabla y que podemos hacer más artesanías, podemos eh, tener mucha más conexión con las demás artesanas que son de otros países. Es estar conectados con la naturaleza, la Pachamama. La conexión que hay entre nosotros y la naturaleza. Eh, esto viene desde tiempos muy ancestrales, ¿no? De, viene de tatarabuelos, mis abuelos, abuelos, mi papá, mi mamá, ¿no? Las, lo, el respeto que nos han inculcado, el cariño, el amor que le tenemos a la Pachamama. Pero más importante aún es que esta conexión nos ayude a crecer, nos ayude a potenciarnos, nos ayude a expandirnos como personas, como seres vivos, parte de un gran planeta. Los niños son los que van a cuidar todo esto, todo estos, estas tierras. Hello everybody, my name is Cynthia and I am the Andean Cat Alliance Communication Coordinator and a member of the CatCraft program. I like to see this program as a network that the artisans are weaving and felting that is growing and creating stronger connections between communities, people, culture and nature. For this network to work, the communities need to work hard and sometimes see the world from a different perspective that allow them to change their perception about wildlife. Participar en el programa CRAFT para mí ha sido muy interesante porque ya llevamos varios años y la verdad es que eso nos ha enseñado a conocer al gato y quererlo. Quererlo porque a veces nosotros lo, antes lo odiamos porque se comía el ganado, se comía la, la, los animales. Entonces ahora la verdad es que nosotros lo, lo queremos al gato, le tomamos cariño al gato, así que ha sido muy interesante conocerlo y quererlo. Me presento, mi nombre es Carolina Conlamar Lique. Para nosotros es súper importante el poder reaperturar nuestra comunidad, eh, la cual ha estado en cuarentena preventiva producto de la pandemia. Destacar el trabajo eh, que hemos realizado, el aporte que ha hecho Gato Andino con, con su panel informativo, la cual ese panel nos va a servir para un nuevo sitio de visitación que nosotros estamos eh, implementando como comunidad para proteger y resguardar nuestro medio ambiente, nuestra fauna, nuestras aves eh, y eh, eso nos va a ayudar bastante. Along this path, the communities start to revalue the local knowledge. Communities that live isolated, like the ones that live in the high Andes, are usually seen, especially by governments, that they need to be helped. They are not seen like people with relevant knowledge, science being with things to share with the rest of the world. The program is changing that perception. Because of the cross-training that we are organizing between communities, the artisans of Lagunillas now feel that they have something important to say and to share with others. Soy Aleira Mamani, vivo en Lagunillas, Farallón, departamento de Rinconada, provincia de Sajón. Estoy muy contenta de participar en este programa Alianza del Gato Andino. Que se valoren nuestros conocimientos, y poder compartir experiencias con otras artesanas de otro país. Hola, soy América de la Unidad del Parallón. Ojalá podamos seguir compartiendo conocimientos y experiencias entre países. But you might be wondering why this sense of relevance is important for the Andean cat conservation. Well, local communities are our most important allies in conservation because they are the ones that live 24-7 with the Andean cat. They need to believe that they are capable of doing things that matters and their actions or decisions can have an impact. To achieve long-term conservation, they need to believe in themselves. So now, a group of local people that wants to work for the Andean Cat Conservation is growing and their impact is being multiplied along the app. That gives us a lot of hope. And there is not the only reason that gives us hope. We have more. Hola, yo soy Marco. Y acá estamos un año más criando Esperanzas. 
Tengo toda la esperanza que con tu apoyo y nuestro compromiso y pasión por el gato andino, continuaremos logrando acciones concretas para su conservación, como por ejemplo, la creación de la primera área protegida en Chile Central, la cual estará enfocada específicamente en la conservación de este maravilloso felino de los Andes. I hope these reasons provided hope for you. But if they were not enough, there are still more reasons for hope. Even in the middle of the pandemic, thanks to the alliances we made, thanks to the connections we have, and thanks to this fantastic team, we have, we were able to obtain new records of Andean cats in the distribution. The cats are still there. Even in a challenging landscape, after a challenging year, and after our four countries, Peru, Bolivia, Chile, and Argentina, being in and out of lockdown for 18 months and counting, we have grown, and we know what needs to be done to preserve this species. You are an important part of the team. So thank you very much for providing us with support for being here today and for always doing your part for the conservation of wildlife. Thank you very much. Showing us weaving this network and strengthening the connections between us all for a better future for human and wildlife.